Hi everybody, welcome to Asia Media, a channel all about food and nutrition. Today's video was requested by my friend Jed and he asked for some healthy dessert ideas. So here are four easy and delicious dessert recipes that don't require a lot of ingredients and don't cost a lot to make. So let's start with the first option, which I guess you could call a yogurt parfait. This is something my mom always eats as a snack before bedtime, and here I've made my own version of it. I guess you could also eat it as a breakfast parfait, but for the purposes of this video, we're gonna call it a dessert. So we always have Greek yogurt in the house because we make a lot of these yogurt parfaits and smoothies. So for this recipe, I use 2% plain Greek yogurt, but you can use any type of plain yogurt. I know that Astro Balkan style yogurt is about a third of the price, but I like Greek yogurt because it has a lot of protein in it. So here I'm just scooping out about a third cup of Greek yogurt into a small bowl. Next, add some frozen berries. I like using frozen berries because they're a cheaper option than fresh berries since they last a lot longer. And then next, I'm just adding some chia seeds for fiber, which makes you feel more full and will regulate blood glucose levels. Chia seeds also contain magnesium, which I mentioned is great to eat for better sleep in this video linked at the top. And now I'm just adding some semi-sweet chocolate chips. I always have these in the house because my mom's a chocolate fiend and they add more flavor and sweetness to the parfait. And then lastly, I'll be adding about one teaspoon of maple syrup. It's real maple syrup. It's quite expensive, but it does last a long time in the fridge. However, some honey or Aunt Jemima's will work just fine in this case. The reason why I like adding syrup is because I can control how much sugar goes into my dessert. Flavored yogurt compared to plain yogurt has about 80% more sugar added. So adding your own sugar in this way gives you more control. This bowl using strawberry yogurt has 220 calories compared to using plain yogurt, which contains 140 calories. 80 calories may not seem like a lot, but using plain yogurt is a simple change you can make to reduce the amount of calories you eat over the entire day. And now you have your first healthier dessert option, which is this delicious yogurt parfait. Using the ingredients I used, it'll cost around $1.10 per serving, but if you use Astro Plain Balkan Yogurt and Aunt Jemima Syrup, it'll cost around $0.62 cents per serving, which is about half the price. Now we're going to move on to these sweet chocolate dipped peanut butter banana sandwiches. I used to have a chocolate fountain and that's how I came up with this idea. Basically, just slice some bananas and put peanut butter in the middle of two slices and then place them on a parchment covered baking tray. Then melt some semi-sweet baking chocolate with coconut oil. Unfortunately, I forgot to get this on camera, but here you can see that it's fully melted. Now dip the mini sandwiches into the chocolate. Okay, there are four things here that I should probably mention. The first thing is that if you're allergic to peanuts, just make this with wow butter, almond butter, or sun butter. Peanut butter is just what I normally have in the house and PC's organic peanut butter is cheaper than everything else except wild butter, which is made with soy. The second thing is that these can also double as a snack to eat before working out because they have a lot of carbs from the chocolate and banana to keep you energized. And they also contain some protein from the peanut butter to help you feel a little more full. The third thing is that I really messed up this first sandwich. I put way too much peanut butter on it and the top slice just kept falling off. So that's why there's chocolate everywhere. And then the last thing is that my nails are atrocious. I'm sorry, I haven't had a chance to get them done since Europe. So I apologize that you have to look at them for so long. Anyways, after you've dipped all your sandwiches in chocolate, it's time to throw them in the freezer so they set. 30 minutes is about enough time, but the longer the better. So now you have another healthier dessert option to add to your list. This dessert option only has 87 calories per pop and costs only 21 cents a pop. The next recipe is a strawberry banana nice cream recipe. I love ice cream so much, like blizzards and McFlurries are my favorite, so I wanted to figure out how to make my favorite dessert a little healthier. And it's also vegan, which is a bonus. 
just blend together two bananas that have been sliced and frozen and then add a cup of frozen strawberries and blend it in a blender or a food processor. So I have to admit that I don't like labeling foods healthy or unhealthy because eating food you like shouldn't make you feel guilty and also sugar is sugar no matter what you call it. However, if you look at food on a spectrum, these dessert options are healthier than more conventional desserts like regular ice cream and cheesecake, which I still love and do eat occasionally. So if you have a sweet tooth like I do, try to choose these dessert options more often than the classic ones. Now to give the nice cream the creamy consistency that you want, just add any type of milk. I'm using almond milk, but you can use oat or soy milk, whichever works for you. Keep adding milk until it becomes just a little thicker than a smoothie. I also added a pinch of salt and some vanilla. Artificial vanilla works just fine. To be honest, I don't really measure the vanilla. I just keep adding it until I'm happy with the taste, but I guess for this recipe, I added about two teaspoons. This recipe takes about 15 minutes to make. It's vegan, therefore it's sustainable, and it's low in sugar. It also costs about $1.98 to make, or 50 cents a serving, and it's 120 calories per serving, which is a huge difference compared to Haagen-Dazs strawberry ice cream, which costs five bucks and is about 260 calories a serving. Once it's fully blended, pour it into a container and freeze it for at least an hour. And now you have your own homemade vegan ice cream that is also cheap and low in sugar. Last but not least is this vegan banana bread skillet recipe I got from a registered dietitian on Instagram who goes by Daisy B. Her blog and Instagram information can be found below. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. First mash up two ripe bananas and then pour it in a blender along with half a cup of oats, half a cup of peanut butter. Daisy Beet uses almond butter, but peanut butter is a lot cheaper than almond butter. And then add one tablespoon of maple syrup, one teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Blend the ingredients until they're creamy. Next, mix in a third cup of chocolate chips into the batter. For the next part, spray the skillet with any type of oil you have. I used olive oil because that's the only type I have in a spray form. And then pour the batter into the skillet and top it with more bananas and chocolate chips. Finally, bake it for 25 minutes and then you're good to go. Daisy Beat tops hers with ice cream, but I just eat it like a massive cookie. This costs about $2.20 to make and each serving, which I guess is about a fifth of the whole dish, is about 200 calories. So I hope you enjoyed this video and now have some healthier dessert options to choose from when you're craving sweets. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment with some suggestions for videos because I love to hear them. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next week.